Welcome to this quick video which is going to show you uh, one solution that I used to regain the admin control rights of my Facebook page. Um, now if you are new to this or if you've heard about it I'll just give you a quick overview. Basically what happens is um, in your personal Facebook account you may have your businesses set up or you may have your personal page set up as a business and they're linked to your personal Facebook page. And what happens is, is that your personal account or one of the Facebook accounts, your role changes to moderator. And once it's changed to moderator, this means that you can no longer access or change some of the features on your Facebook page. Um, and if you Google this, there's loads of stories about um, you know people getting stuck and people um, wanting to change their role back to admin. Um, lots of businesses obviously not being able to access or post or um, control their Facebook page and it's a real real worry. Um, so we tried various things and one of the options is that you contact a friend, a trustworthy friend, you make them uh, an admin, add them, add them as admin, delete yourself and then add yourself back again or they add you back again as admin. Um, we tried this but it didn't work so I'm going to talk you through a solution that did work and uh, the reasons why. So here is the uh, Facebook page in question. And you can see that the um, it's now changed to admin. And uh, this was originally moderator. What was happening is when you were clicking on the edit and trying to change it to admin, it wasn't allowing you to, uh, to access that. And obviously it's quite frustrating. You can assign a new page role, so this is where you might add a friend or a trustworthy colleague um, and they could then become a admin assistant or ad admin role and then they could delete you and add you back again. Um, but actually what we found the issue was, was to do with, um, uh, it coincided with the post that was sent um, by, by the user here and the post received over 6,500 um, kind of views um, was reposted several times um, so there must be some kind of correlation and uh, what we discovered was that because the um, post had gone um, to so many people suddenly the uh, security settings for the person account weren't suitable anymore so what we had to do was change the setting on the personal account to the two-factor authentication okay so I'm going to talk you through this now. So if you go to the business.facebook.com settings, uh, log into that with your normal account. And then what you want to do is select the account from the top that you are wishing to, to change. And then go down to business information or business info. Click on that, scroll down to the bottom. Okay, and then you see the option where it says two factor authentication. Now, because um, in, in normal times, if you get a post um, or, or normal scenario, if you get a post and it's maybe got 10 or 15 people that read it, or the reach is 10 or 15 people, um, obviously Facebook isn't concerned that this is a potential target for hacking. Um, and therefore it carries on. Whereas if you are sending out posts that become particularly popular, as I said, there were over 6,000 reaches on this, and I think about 48 reposts. Um, what it meant was that Facebook were now taking the security of the account um, into question. And therefore, because it wasn't um, authenticated, two-factor authentication it meant that the, um, the, the account was it wasn't really frozen, but the role was set to moderator so that they couldn't post anymore. So you obviously click on here, set up your two-factor authentication, and it's going to also be done on your phone. Okay. Um, but if you Google business help, how to set up a two-factor two authentication, um, there's a guide here. Um, but it's all to do with the security rather than your uh, account having been hacked or rather than there being, being an issue. Okay, so 
in conclusion, what we've got is uh, you send a post up, it becomes really popular, or you're a business, and suddenly you get a lot of traffic through to your Facebook website, Facebook page. What happens is because you haven't got two factor authentication switched on, your account is um, so the roles are set to moderator, which means that obviously you can only moderate the page, you can't actually edit it, and you can't change any of the settings, etc. Um, or basically post, which obviously as a business is what you want to do. So what you need to do is for the account, set up the two-factor authentication. And there's a number of ways you can do this. You can um, send a text message to your phone if you've got your mobile phone registered, or you can use Google Duo to scan a QR code, um, and that sets up the um, authentication, and they know who you are. And therefore, Facebook know who you are, and therefore, all the features come back again, uh, which is which is good. Okay, hope you found that helpful. Um, if you get any issues or any further questions, please put them in the comments. And um, thanks for your time.